Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, we're going to model this this facade. Okay, so uh, let's start. First, create a project, and um, I'm going to just model uh, place some reference plans. And also, um, today we are going to use just model in place. Okay, so uh, generic model. And tomorrow we will try. Oh, sorry, not, not I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or the day after. But next time we will try pattern based. But today let's just model it as a, a generic model, model in place generic model. So first I want to roughly um, just place some reference plan. So these are the two reference plan in the floor plan. And then let's go to south. Okay, so. Just ignore this level. Uh, I'll just hide them here, or maybe I'll just leave the uh, ground floor. Okay, so I'll delete the level level one. So now I'm going to just re reference plan. Just do another reference plan. So roughly here. So and um, from this image, so uh, mm, I would guess. So see, that's a human, a people here. So roughly two meter. So I would say it's about two meter from here to here. So okay, and then see all these grids. So these grids, we, we're going to follow these grids and the grids of these um, uh, void, and also there also this horizontal grids. So there will be three different uh, directions. So let's go back. I'll roughly draw uh, here. So roughly, I think it's about uh, 30 degree from the top. So it'll be 60 degree. So roughly here, okay. And then, and also I'll just copy this down by two meter, two meter. And then there will be another one. I think roughly 60 degree from the top, from the. Uh, and I'll just uh, draw. Uh, another one so rp or maybe start from here so it will be 30 degree from oops sorry rp 30 here okay so I'll drag it down okay so now what i'm going to do is i just need want to just copy this one to here and copy uh hell looks like it's very wild wide um yeah i think looks okay yeah maybe that two meter thing says uh, maybe let's change that oops sorry this one maybe instead of two meter let's change one that to 1.5 uh oh hell two meters far oh sorry i forgot so we need to copy this one to here and then this is the shape yeah, I think that's okay. So it looks good. And then we just need to so copy another one up. Okay, so and then this we need a because when we we're doing this, I think we we need to we're going to use um, model in place and we're going to use blend. Okay, so I think that's good. Maybe I'll just copy another one on on this side. And we have one, two, three, four. Yep, that's good. So now let's start. So first, I'm going to just go to uh, model in place. And hell, let me just name them right? because I don't want to switch uh, back and forth. So I'll name this uh, front. Okay, so F. Name this reference uh, plan back. Okay, so front and back. So now we can go to f f uh, south elevation. So start model in place. So I'm going to use general model and let's start. So first, I'm going. I, I want to pick. I want to set work plan on the front. Uh, so let's go to set work plan. So on, in the list, choose f, f. Okay, front, and then we can use blend. And we're going to use pick line, okay? So I'll use check lock, and then we can just pick lines, okay? So and, and trim tr, and 
that's it. Okay, so now click on Edit Top, Set Work Plan, pick back, okay, and pick line. So one, two, three, and four. Trim and finish. So now, and if I finish model and go to 3D view, you will see this is the shape we did. Okay, so see this, this is front. If I, yeah, if you look at here, front. So this is a front face, this is back face. And then all the rest is, is kind of a diagonal shape, a diamond shape. <laughs> Okay, so now go back to south. And then we just need to cut a void. Okay, we need to cut a void. So go back, edit in place. And once again, so uh, we create another. Uh, you can directly create a void blend if you want to, but you can also do a blend solid and change it uh, to void. So now let's uh, continue. So set word plan, change it to front and okay. And pick line so we just need to offset a little bit so I would say 200 let's see uh, maybe that's too thin maybe 300 uh, okay 300 so and also because we don't have any reference plan there so we can't just uh, lock the amount of reference plan so if you if you want to you can create a reference plan, but also you can use dimension. So for example, you can do this as well. And this should be the same. Okay, so it should be the same. So this will, um, otherwise you will have a lot of reference plan, but this one, once you finish, so now this is a front and then edit to top, go to uh, set back, okay so pick on so same i'm going to use offset 300 lock one two three and four trim and dimension and dimension and the uh, last one here and then select them Oh hell, so you need to lock them individually. Okay, so now if I finish this one, and I think that's, that should be good. So, but both of them are solid. And also, uh, I just forgot one thing. If I go to ground floor, and let's go to side plan so we can see, so the whole thing. So you will see this, there's uh, some offset because we didn't change the, uh, so if you select this one, so see, 250 is a default. Because we use, um, we pick, we set work plan for both the top and the bottom of top and the base. So we just need to have them both zero. So they will match the reference plan. Okay, so now go to 3D view. So that's it. So we can select the middle, the one in the middle, and you can change it to void. Okay, so and if it, uh, so it didn't uh, automatically cut the solid, you can just use this cut on the uh, modify, cut, solid, and void, and that's it. And okay, and then that's it. So, so now, uh, because uh, we, locked, we locked the shape onto reference plan, so if I go to south, I'll just uh, WT, so we have both, so this is 3D view, okay, hidden line. So it should, it should follow the reference plan. So you will see if I change the reference uh, plan, let me just control Z and uh, let's do it again. So maybe this one, go up. So you will see it f follows the, maybe change this one. So you will see it follows the reference plan, okay? So if you want to change the size, you can. So Okay, so now this is it. So this is one of them. So if I do uh, array, so AR, oops, sorry, a group member sketch of families constrained to, okay, it looks like because this family is constrained to all these reference plan. 
so there's a little bit issue so we can we uh if we want to array them we need to array all everything here but i don't want to array all these reference plans so maybe what we, i just want to you know control c and i'll just copy I'll copy another one in the same place so so you will see this is the one we are not constrained to anything um i'll just keep this one there so maybe i'll just change this to uh uh create a uh, in new demolition in new so and i'll change this to previous and new so i can uh, it will hide the temporary uh, phase so now i'll just move this back and then we have this one so we can i'll change this a uh, view filter a uh, filter as well so let, let me just change the filter in this view previous and a view new or oh, good so now we can array this one to I think to here maybe I'll type 10 okay so 10 of them uh, and also I want to array oops sorry S A A R array and from here to I think to here and then we uh, another 10 of them so there will, there will be 100 so um yeah and also i think uh, i need to be horizontal maybe i need to go edit this group select this one and maybe move this down to here so yeah and once you finish this group it will all it will change all these group as well, groups as well Okay, so that's it. That's that's it. So of course you can copy and paste and then create a a facade looks like this. Okay, so so this is the front. Let me just uh, close this one. So this is the front. Maybe change the shade. Uh, maybe turn on the shadow. Oh, it's very dark. Maybe I'll just turn on turn on. Make it yeah. That's better. Um, background. Oops. Okay. So this is this is this is the this is it. So so um, yeah yeah. I think in uh, reality you probably want to you know have these uh, void at uh, some specific angles for. Uh, better um, light light <laughs> okay so and what's next okay so let's go back to south we can also do a little bit curved so because in this image it's, it looks like it's it's more a uh, curved corner so we can do that so edit group select one of them and just need to edit model in place select this void and so edit top okay so we just need to so use a fillet so for this one i'm not sure i'll just try 200 and see what happens okay so uh that's too big uh maybe 50 um uh, too small uh 100 yeah i think that's better so then we'll just use 100 for the other side oops uh, what's going on? Yeah, oh, okay. oh, good. And I think you can you can uh, talk the uh, tangency, but I don't think it's it, it will yeah that don't really matter because we are not going to change the size of them. So, and for this corner, probably we need a slightly bigger so three hundred. Yeah, you can't really see them. Maybe 500. Okay, so let's use five. Oops, sorry, 500. Yeah. And okay, so this one as well. So all good. Finish and finish and and oh, sorry. Uh, that's one. That's one. So uh, that's uh, we need to edit the other side. Where's my vo void? Uh, edit in place. So see, that's only that side, and we need to edit 
so 500 on these two soil and um, 100 sorry uh, click too fast oh good and finish and finish and finish Apparently, um, take a little bit longer when the, uh, there's curves in the model, or maybe my computer is too slow. Just <laughs> okay. So that's it. So um, let's go to 3D view and okay. So that's it. So they are all individual. You can just copy, copy them. You know, multiple. You can copy them to wherever you like. Okay, so it's very easy to use. Oops. Yep. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, next time, uh, I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or the day after, we will try pattern-based family so we will have more uh, flexibility uh, fle flexibility to control control all the angles okay so thank you i'll see you next time thank you bye